We've got five seconds left. So technically this is a win. I'm gonna call it a win. We did a beat in 10 minutes again. Holy crap. We did it twice in a row. Come on, turn up. What? Hey everybody, welcome back to another 10 Minute Tuesday. My name's Brad Tennant. If you're new around here, 10 Minute Tuesday is a video series where I try to make a beat within 10 minutes. Last time I actually managed to pull it off, so make sure to check that video out. Uh, but I had a little bit of an idea of what I was doing when I went into that one, and this time I have zero clue what I'm gonna do. I'm flying completely blind here, and we're gonna put 10 minutes on the clock and just see what we can come up with in 10 minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. All right. We've got drum track ready to go. Let's just try to record a simple drum beat. Oops, let's turn on the metronome. Yeah, let's record that. All right, we've got the drums laid down and we have nine minutes left. Let's try to move on to some chords real quick. See what we can do with that. Switch to track one and let's see what we got. I kind of like that. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, uh, we've got seven and a half minutes left. We've got drums and some chords. Let's see if we can come up with a cool bass line. Let's make sure we save that synth sound in case we need to come back to it. Okay, let's see what we've got as far as bass sounds go. All right, I don't necessarily know exactly what's going to happen with this bass line, but I kind of like it. Let's go with track two and see what we can do. All right, we've got just under five minutes left. We've got some nice chords. We've got this nice little chill bass line. We've got some pretty chill drums. It's turned out to be a pretty decent little track and we've got half the time left. I'm kind of surprised at how well this is going. Uh, let's see if we can do some sort of texture. Be, uh, I might have killed us with trying to find a texture. We've got three minutes left and I haven't found anything. I think kids show preset might have saved us. Let's try to record this little texture part. Might not turn out that great, but we don't have much time to play around anymore. I don't like the way that's going in. Let's try a different pattern. That didn't sound like anything. And we'll try this one.
We've got drums, we've got chords, we've got bass, we've got some texture. It's very subtle texture, but it's there. And we've got five seconds left. So technically this is a win. I'm gonna call it a win. We did a beat in 10 minutes again. Holy crap, we did it twice in a row. Come on, turn off. What? All right, so I'm gonna call this a win, but I wanna find some sort of lead to put over this because it needs something to kind of glue it all together. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So we've got our drums. Okay, and then we recorded our chords. You were there. Then we got our bass. And we've got our atmosphere. Really subtle stuff. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the Fina lead on the LP1 and see what I can come up with in a quick little performance. So let's go ahead and try this out. Well, I'm not too sure if I'm happy with that lead or the performance, but uh, you know, I've got other things I gotta do today. Gotta move on. Time to call it good for now. If you like the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos on the OP1 and beat making and other synthesizers and stuff. And until next time, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>